Hey, what's the crack, guys? This is Mark here from Retrophonic Media, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a typing text effect inside of Adobe Premiere using Canva Online. As always, it's quick and simple, so let's get it done. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to Canva, and what you're going to do is go here, click Create New Design, type in Custom Size, and type in 1920 by 1080. So that's the resolution of 1080p HD. If you're working in 4K, it's gonna be 3840 by 2160. But whatever, hit create new design. I have one made already. And then what you wanna do is click on the background, click on the color box here, click on the plus, and then type in 00B140. Where is the B? 00B140. This is chroma key green. What I'm gonna do here is click on adding in a new heading, and then I'm gonna come down and find this font called Angelina, which is one I like, and I'm gonna type in, isn't this beautiful, okay? And then I'm gonna make it one word on each line, and let's make it big enough to cover most of the screen. Change the color of the text to white, because maybe black on the background isn't gonna be the most amazing thing in the world. Maybe we can give it a bit of a, Shadow, nothing too crazy. Let's make it black. That's fine. Let's let's keep it with that. And then let's go to animate. This is where we're going to make a type. Click on typewriter. And now you can see it there. It's typing. So I'm going to make it on enter. I'm going to set it to its slowest one there. And now we need to download this as an MP4. So click on share, download, switch this to MP4 video, and then click download. This is gonna render it to an MP4 file, and what we can do with this file is then bring it into our project in Adobe Premiere. And once I have it in there, I'm gonna show you what you can do with it, and the reason why we're using this chroma key background in the first place. Clip is nearly finished now, just bear with me. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so the video is going to be saved and I'm gonna save it to here. Doesn't matter where, you save it wherever you want. Now I'm inside the project, I'm going to come to the folder that I've saved it and I have the thing we just made. I have a bit of a background video that I'm gonna put it over and a typing effect, the sound effect of someone typing on a keyboard. So first things first, let's drag in the background. Put that on the timeline, we got 20 seconds of background footage, we can see it playing there. Lovely, beautiful scenery. No idea where that is in the world, but very nice. Now what we're gonna do is drag the typing thing we have created and, okay, let me just pick a random chunk of this. You know, to be honest, it actually doesn't matter at all. So I'm just gonna make it five seconds in length. And then what you're gonna do here is come to effects, type in key we're looking for ultra key drag it on to the thing that we're working with the text and you come down here to ultra key click on key color get the eyedropper tool click on the green boom now the background is gone so now we have this now already that looks absolutely incredible but what you can do just to make it pop a little bit more is you can come to the background video here and then we're going to type in Blur, I'm gonna come down and find Gaussian Blur, Gaussian Blur, I don't know how to pronounce that. And uh, we're not gonna to go too crazy here, let's try five. Okay, put in five and hit enter. Now, tiny bit of a blur. Did that even do anything? Let's try 10. Now, there's a little bit, maybe 15. 15 looks nice. And the very last thing we need to do is add in the sound effect of typing on the keyboard, so we have it here. So let me zoom in. Start it at the very beginning, and we wanna get rid of this bit here. Let's see what that looks like. And then we wanna end it right there. So all together we got this. Perfect, now it's a little bit sharp at the end, the way it ends there, it's just the sudden stopping of typing so if i i can do two ways but i'll try this one first let's say we go exponential fade and we make this really short 
So instead of it being one second, let's make it five frames. Okay, much better. So this is another way of doing it, but I won't bore you with multiple methods of doing the same thing. But there you go, real quick from Canva and some generic background footage. You can use this, I don't know, as a transition in anything, an intro into something. Let's have a look at it one more time. And you can imagine when you combine this with some sort of music. So let's let's do that. Let me find one of my own my own beats. Bum bum bum. Yeah, let's go with this one. I don't even know what the speed is, to be honest, but let's find out. So, let's trim it here. Get a little chunk of it. It's wonderful. Literally works. Perfect. Looks beautiful. So, I hope that is helpful. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any recommendations for any topics you would like to see me cover, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe for more. And you can make contact with me at retrophonicmedia.com.